Pakistan. advice that you have for our non-Muslim brothers and sisters out there? Don't believe the mainstream media because they want to actually, you know, find truth and learn about the Islam. Don't just. Hello, guys. You're welcome. My name is Bukumi PK Crown. So, an American boy converts to Islam, and this is his advice to the youth. So, let's watch. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is Sabil Ahmad. I am in Guiding Light Islamic Center. I'm here in the parking lot. Next to me, you may be wondering, who is this youth? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why don't you say who you are? He's like really special. When I met, you know, there were so many guests who came today. When I met him, I said, wow. This person I need to interview. He's special. Who are you? Um, my name is Sam Swift. Uh, and I'm a 15. I'm a sophomore in high school. I go to Trinity High School. Oh, he goes to Trinity High School. Yeah. And you may be wondering, who are watching this video, maybe this is a Christian guy who believes in Trinity and takes Jesus as Lord and Savior. Do you? No, sir. So I found out that Alhamdulillah, our brother Sam, he is a revert to Islam. He converted to Islam, and uh, somebody forced you, correct? No. Nobody forced you. Mashallah, of your own choice, huh? Of course, no. mm. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So why don't you say, mention briefly your story? I mean, who introduced Islam to you, and uh, what what teachings of Islam attracted you? Mm. That of your own choice, you studied, and then you became a Muslim. Yeah. So. Um, it was all in like sixth grade, um, you know, and at the time and still, of course, today, you know, the media is always demonizing Islam, you know, terrorism, 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 terrorism. All the shows like, it's like, you know, terrorism. Uh, and my parents, they're always pretty cool about it. And, you know, they said, you know, this is not really, really Islam. All right. Uh, and so I, I was I was reading about it online and I had a friend, uh, Alhamdulillah, really still my best friend to this day. And I started off sort of mocking him and, you know, like, you know, what bomb. You oh, like, you know, I mean, I wasn't like trying to like actually, I didn't like actually hate Islam. I was just being kind of a scumbag. I was like, you know, oh, you know, bombs, you know, flying carpets, stuff like that. And, um, but I asked questions, you know, he answered them and there were good answers. And uh, I admired like, because uh, the main pull factor, one of the main pull factors was like the discipline uh, that Islam had uh, because I was I was pretty. What is the example of that? Um, that you have you, you know really modest. You have to like, carry yourself good. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm not saying that I like do. I'm not a, obviously not a perfect person. I have some, but I just admire that. I admire that part that brought me in and uh, just you know respect and okay. of course submission to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And um, that that was that was some of the main pull factors. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, when I met Sam and he introduced himself, he was wearing the full toe, by the way, right? And the turban, the toe you have in the backpack. But Alhamdulillah, you introduce yourself, that of your own choice. You know, what important lesson, Sam, that I can learn from that encounter with uh, your Muslim friend Ali, is that Muslims, we have to practice and we have to be a good example for our fellow Americans and people of humanity. Yes, we can teach and we can preach and give them a choice, but we have to practice that. And I believe your friend Ali has done a good job. I hope so, right? Mm. Of course, yeah. Yes. And second important thing is uh, we need to have the knowledge to correct the people. If people think that, you know, Muslims are extremists and terrorists and threat to society, I think Ali did a good job, your friend, to introduce to you what Islam is and what Islam is not. Yeah. It's a good lesson for the youth and all the Muslims. So I want to ask you this question. What about your parents? How? What was the reaction once they found out that, you know, my son, Sam, converted to Islam? What was the reaction? Um, I think that it's actually pretty unique. My parents, they were actually really, they were pretty tolerant about it. Um, because they, they weren't like, you know, they're not like strong. They're, they're raised Christian, but I guess like they're sort of like agnostic and deist. Um, and so, you know, they, they, they were, they're supportive. Um, and ma mashallah, they're so, they're really good about it. And it, they just don't. They just don't want me to like. Uh, and this, this is kind of understandable. They just don't want me to, um, to like try to make it a big a part of their lives. Like, they, uh, so, you know, they just, okay. yeah, yeah. But you know, brother Sam, uh, you have two obligations. I mean, there are so many obligations. Two obligations. First obligation is to share the message of Islam with your parents. Yeah, you know, you want to go to paradise. I want to go to paradise. All of us. But we also want our parents to be there, don't yeah, you? Of 
So it's really important that by your good words, good actions, becoming the best son anyone can ever have, that would be one of the ways to lead them towards the truth of Islam and the guidance of the Quran. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Of course, yes. That's what I'm saying. Second obligation that you have is to make sure that if you have siblings, yeah, yeah. if you have brothers and sisters, you may have, uh, you know, your friends, non-Muslim friends, you're going to a Trinity school, yeah. basketball team, right? Uh, that was not a basketball team, but uh, this, I think it's like a uh, either intramural thing or some, like we, okay. won, we took state and... Uh, I see. Yeah. So one big lesson I want uh, Sam to share with all of us would be, you know, nowadays in the 21st century, it may be so in all the centuries, youth may have so many temptations, so many problems, so many distractions in this world. And look at you, mashallah, good example. I mean, may Allah make all of us better. I mean, right? But what message that you have? One, to the Muslim youth. Second, to the non-Muslims who may be listening out here. Um, my advice to the to Muslim youth and non-Muslims is to uh, not just not just sort of just go through the motions of life you know like actually you know especially for the muslim youth you have to you you are a muslim right you've been blessed that you you were born a muslim so you have all the tools that you that you like that you need to succeed you because you you know your parents will be behind you if if you're being raised muslim so take advantage of that and uh use and 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 go into the religion you know learn about the religion make it a part of your life you don't you, you can't just say you know i'm a muslim and and then just go go to the masjid because your parents tell you to pray because your parents tell you to you have to you have to you have to make you you have to be your own muslim you can't just be some just go through the motions all right you have to just look actually look into islam read about islam and it'll bring you closer to allah and what Smart advice time. that you have for our non-muslim brothers and sisters out there who may be thinking muslims are threat um, what would you say to them? Just don't believe the mainstream media because these these, these reporters they're not they're not Islamic scholars they're not ulama. So what my advice to them would be to to actually if if they wanna if they wanna actually you know find truth, uh, then 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 actually then learn about Islam. Don't just don't just take it it, it uh, face value from what the media says. Excellent advice. So learn Islam not from the Fox, the CNN, the fake news, the White House. But from the Quran and the last Prophet, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, when I listen to the, your advice, uh, you said you are what? Fifty years of age? Fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Yes. Mashallah, your <laughs> advice is as if you are like a wise fifty-year-old person. Mashallah. May Allah keep you guided. May Allah give hidayah, guidance to your parents, to all of humanity, and may Allah keep you blessed and all of us blessed. Man, wonderful. Congratulations. Welcome to Islam, brother. Wait, was the man trying to say 50? That's young guy I say, oh, you must be 50. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, that was really nice. Like he said, through his friends, he was able to convert to Islam. And the message he gave out, one thing the man said that got to me, he said, don't follow the fake news on CNN, on this news channel. I don't think all the news from this news channel are all fake i don't think all are all fake that was a good advice for the muslim said make sure that you are devoted not only muslim per se any religion you find yourself be devoted to god yes no serve him don't do it because your mommy or your daddy or your parents tell you to go and pray to do this to do that not the writing and do the writing and serve your mika serve your god because as long as you've gotten to that age of you taking care of yourself you're not to be reminded the advice was actually good like he said he said don't believe whatever you see on the news and i'm sure not all those things we see on the news are really true about this terrorism and the rest though so not everything are true but what me i would say is that as a non-muslim if you think this is the way you want to go and you want to convert fine but don't be under pressure to convert don't be pressurized don't follow the crowd that's what me i'll say don't follow the crowd don't say because people are converting you want to convert no make sure that you are ready and make sure that what you're doing you know what you're doing and you're ready for it if not that you're not ready for it and you say ah people are doing this people are doing this let me also no don't do something that you're not willingly 
it's not coming from your heart you don't want to do it willingly so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share comment i'll see you in the next one